there, and welcome to the first episode of Mori Mending Monday. So today we're going to be mending these Dutch boy pants. As you can see, there's a bleach spot on the knee, which we'll be patching with the yellow gingham, and there is some wear on the waistband next to the red patch, which we will be patching with the blue polka dot. These are the flosses that we'll be using to do our project today. The first three here we'll be using to embroider the flowers onto the cute little knee patch we're going to be making. And these next few, the cream and dark green will be used to attach the patches to the pants and the light green will be used for leaves on the flowers. So we've got our upper patch all tacked down, folded nicely over the waistband. And I suck so I didn't film doing the blanket stitch, but here it is to show you, a nice even blanket stitch in cream. Next, we have to attach our knee patch over the bleach stain. So, to apply this patch, we're going to be using what I initially learned to be called the Norse stitch. Now, in my past years of sewing and hand sewing experience, I have learned it to also be called the herringbone stitch. I do still like to think of it as the Norse stitch, because it's the first decorative hand sewing stitch I ever learned, when I got interested in Renaissance period costume. So this one holds some serious significance for me. I've been doing it since I was about 13. I'm not the best at it because I don't hand sew as much as I should, but with this series I do hope to remedy that. So it's just very simply made by going back and forth with your stitches. So you move forward with a nice long diagonal stitch and then you backtrack just a little bit so that you can make the little X's at either end of your long diagonal stitches. Now this corner technique I like to use a lot. As you can see from behind I am just going a little bit into the patch right at the corner and then back tacking to kind of anchor going back through that original first hole and then back to meet the stitch past it. And then as we go around the corner, I just like to go back up through that original hole and then out to continue our north stitch on the other side of the patch. And you just continue like this all the way around your patch nice and slow. It's just kind of a little mindless activity you can do. I find it very relaxing and it helps me kind of meditate. So this is what our finished patch looks like so far. As you can see, it's not perfect. I'm not the best, but we're not going for perfect. We're going for cute. And I definitely think it has a very cute vibe going so far. Next up, we start with our flowers in the middle of the patch. I'm going to start with purple because it's my sister's favorite color. And using a daisy chain stitch, we're just going to apply them in clusters to make the petals of the different flowers. Now we've almost got the first flower done. Sometimes it can be a little tricky and you have to kind of jostle and adjust and push and pull your stitches to get them just so and just right. So for the first flower we did six daisy chain stitches to make a six petal flower. The second flower I'm going to only do five petals because I like to change it up and I know that visually um, odd numbers look the most pleasing. So I'm just going to continue daisy chain stitch, daisy chain stitch. It's one of the easiest ones and I really do enjoy it. Again, it's just very meditative, very simple. Now I don't embroider very often. But I do really like it, and during the summer months, I want again more. I want to get more into it. Um, it's a nice little thing you can do outside, and like I've said before, I do really enjoy hand sewing, and I would like to get to more of it. 
Now that the weather's getting better out, I think it's going to be on my priority list. Next up, I'm going to just do this little cluster of French knots up in the corner. Initially, when I planned it, I wanted to do kind of a longer cluster and make it look like a little lavender branch, but it didn't quite happen. Unfortunately, the fabric I used is a little thin and it wasn't holding up properly, so I only got three French knots. Now that we have our little flowers finished, we're going to apply our leaves with the same daisy chain uh, stitch that we've been doing pretty much this entire knee patch. And to make the heart look kind of like a little flower in the center of this garden, 
uh, we're going to add a leaf on either side and a stem down the center. And I just want to take the last couple minutes of this video to say thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you tune in for the next episode of Mori Mending Monday. Not sure if it'll be next week or the week after, but we'll have to see. If you think there's anything I could do better in these videos, or anything you would like to see, please do leave a comment down below for me, because I would really like some feedback. I think it would be fun to engage with all nine of you, um, <laughs> make a really cozy community, just the few of us. But yeah, this was a fun little project. It's not quite complete. I have a flower or two more to add to the outside and inside, and I've got to cover up the little bleach spot up in the, I guess, left-hand corner of the big patch. Um, but we're getting there. At the time that I was filming this portion of the mending, it was close to midnight and I'd been working on this embroidery for about three hours, so I was pretty tired. Um, as I am recording this, it's about quarter after 12 in the morning, and uh, again, I'm getting pretty tired. But I did want to just check in with you before I end the video. Um, yeah, not really sure what else I should be saying right now. I guess thank you for watching. I hope to hear from you. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. It was lots of fun, and mending is a thing I'm going to be doing more of in my Hobbit life. But uh, for now, let's just finish this bad boy off with one final little leaf to just kind of frame off our second little pretty purple flower. Have a good night, everyone. Goodbye.